Well, the numbers are staggering. Out of all the boating fatalities in 2007, 82% of victims were not wearing their life jackets. With plenty of summer weather still ahead, Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers has some tips for us on how to stay safe on the water and how to be prepared should something go wrong. One of the Coast Guard's core missions is ensuring safety on the water. During the summer months, that means recreational boating. Coast Guard Auxiliary members, the service's volunteer force, conduct vessel safety checks. These examinations are free of charge, and if any violations are found, no fines will be issued. We find a discrepancy. It's between the inspector and the, the boat owner, and they have an opportunity to correct it. On this morning, auxiliaries are conducting vessel safety checks at the Fort Belvoir Marina in Virginia. These boaters pass their inspection and received a sticker signifying they're in compliance. But if you don't have an examination, ask yourself, will you be ready the next time you hear this? Reported by the Coast Guard lately. Although the Coast Guard can issue fines, they aren't the main goal of the boardings. We got underway with the crew from Station Curtis Bay, Maryland, to see firsthand what a boarding entails. Well, first, when we come alongside, we want to make sure that they understand why we're there and uh, make sure that the vessel is safe and seaworthy. After that, we pretty much just go right into the boarding, checking all their safety equipment, you know, make sure they have all the required safety gear. The entire point of conducting these vessel safety checks is to ensure that if an emergency does arise on the water, that recreational boaters have the proper safety gear on board to survive. Well, something did happen tonight. We're actually on our way now to search for two people from a capsized boat. After searching the area where the vessel was spotted, no signs of a boat or victims were found. And although the crew's response time was less than 30 minutes, sometimes help can't arrive that quickly. Having all the required yeah, safety gear on board over. can drastically increase a boater's chances of survival. That's why the crew takes every opportunity to correct any problem. Not necessarily a violation not having the stuff on board, it's uh, not having it in the right proper place. For instance, you know, the type 4 throwable life ring or throwable cushion, it's not on deck, readily accessible. Most people have it inside the uh, cabin and not where they can actually get to it. That role as a boating educator takes high priority for Coast Guard crews. Yeah, that's definitely our main goal is to educate the boater. And uh, a lot of them have questions. A lot of people just have it. They bought it at the store and keep it on board the boat. You know, a lot of them, they don't understand what the real purpose of it is. One, Sector Baltimore request you to respond. Whether you're out fishing, hunting, or just to have a good time, remember, the water doesn't care how strong you think you are or how well you think you can swim or even what military uniform you put on. It treats every victim equally. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers, Pentagon Channel News. Well, some of the items required by federal law are life jackets, a throwable life ring, and of course the boat's registration. But some of these requirements do change depending on the size of your boat. For a complete list, visit uscgboating.org. There you can also request a vessel safety check and sign up for a boating safety course.